Welcome to Interview Pro. In the last video, we learned how to install Node.js and Angular CLI. We have created a new Angular project using ng new command and ran our application using the command ng serve. We browsed localhost and saw the default screen provided by Angular. We did all these using the command prompt. We haven't seen the actual project structure. Today, let's go through the structure of the project. Dot .angular folder. This folder was not created when we initially created the project. This is created when we ran the application. Even if you delete this folder, it will be created again when we rerun the application. This is because caching is enabled for the development environment by default. If you want to disable, there are a few configuration commands available. You can try them. Dot .vs code. This usually contains settings related to workspace, debugging, and a few other configurations. .angular and .vs code folders have nothing to do with your project. You don't have to worry about them. .editor config. This file has configurations for code editor. It helps developers who are working on the same project maintain coding style consistency across various editors. It contains file format to define coding styles. Node modules. This is the folder where all the packages installed using npm will reside. Dot git ignore. This file specifies untracked files that git should ignore. For example, node modules is a huge folder. We don't need to track this folder because we have package.json which provides the list of dependencies that this project requires. And using the command npm install, we can install all these dependencies so we can mention node modules in git ignore. Angular JSON. This file contains command line interface configurations required for the project. For example, in our first video, we used ng-serve to run our app. What should happen when we do ng-serve will be defined here. Similarly, to build our application, we can use ng-build. Here, we can specify what is the entry point of our application, what is the HTML file that we see when we run the application, and many other configurations. We have test section as well. We can use the command ng-test to run the tests and all the test-related configurations will be defined here. Package log JSON. As we discussed previously, package.json will have the list of dependencies and their versions. Package log JSON is also similar to package JSON, but this is automatically generated by npm whenever you install or update packages. In package.json, we see that the version starts with the symbol caret. This means it specifies a version range that starts with the major version, for example, 16 in this case. But look at package.json. It logs the specific version of the installed package and their dependencies. Look at this. This is the version of Angu uh, Babel core, and these are the specific versions of the dependencies on which this package is dependent on. Package log JSON logs the specific version of the installed package and their dependencies so that the same dependencies are installed consistently across all the environments to prevent conflicts. Readme file. This is the documentation introducing the project. What is CLI version, how to run the application, how to build or how to test. All this information will be documented in this file. tsconfig.json. This has the configuration for projects in the workspace. All other configuration files are inherited from this base file tsconfig.app.json. 
This file will have application configuration, application specific configuration like TypeScript and Angular compiler options. tsconfig.spec.json. This file contains configuration for the application tests. Now let's look at the main folder which uh, you will be working on mostly throughout the project development. Styles.css. This file will have the list of styles you will be using across the application. Main.ts. This is the entry point for your application. It compiles the application with the JIT compiler and bootstraps the root module, which is nothing but app module, to run the browser. Index.html. This is the HTML screen which we have seen when we ran our application using ng-serve command. Fav icon. This is the icon which we see in the browser window. Assets folder. This is where you can put your images or other files for your application. App folder. This folder contains all the component files where you define the application logic and data. Inside this folder, we have different files. Dot component files are related to your components. Dot module refers to the module, which contains a set of components. Route module. This would contain information related to routing in your application. We'll discuss more about these files in our upcoming videos. For now, just know that every component will have a selector. We use this selector to display the content of this component. For example, the selector here is app-root. In TS file, we define the logic. In HTML, we define the presentation layer. In CSS, we define styles related to this component. In spec.ts, we define a unit test to test your component. In index.html, we use this selector app-root to render the content onto the UI. So, when we run our application, main.ts is the entry point which tells us that app module is the first module that we have to refer to render the content into this HTML file. In the app module, we have component called app component, which has a selector app hyphen root. This is the same selector we used in HTML file to render the content onto the UI. And this is the fav icon, which we saw here. When you run the application, this icon will be displayed in the browser window. So this is all about Angular project structure. If there is any confusion, don't worry. We'll discuss in detail in our upcoming videos. I hope the content was helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.